Hello students. Hello teacher. How are you doing? First of all I would like to say welcome to my presentation. My name is Dash and I am BSc nurse student of Arba Minch College of Health Sciences today I will present you about the first aid management of choking adult, child and infant. First aid management of choking adult, child and infant. What is choking? Choking is severe difficulty in breathing due to obstruction of the airway or lack of air. What are the causes of choking? Choking is caused by 1. Airway partially or completely blocked by food. 2. Airway partially or completely blocked by small objects or foreign materials, eating too quickly, and 3. Not chewing food sufficiently. What are the signs and symptoms of choking? Signs and symptoms of choking are Clutching the throat Coughing, wheezing, or gagging, having difficulties breathing, speaking, or swallowing, trying to cry but making strange or no sounds at all, making a whistling or crowing sounds. Face, neck, lips, ears, or fingernails turning blue, and Becoming unconscious What are the complications of choking? Complications of choking are Lack of oxygen to vital organs. Unconscious and cardiac arrest. What is the first aid management of choking for under one year, infant? 1. Immediately call for an ambulance. 2. Follow D, R, S, A, B, C, D, and E steps. 3. Give up to five sharp back blows. 4. Position infants with head pointing downwards on forearm. 5. Support the infant's head and shoulders on your hand and forearm. Hold infant's mouth open with your fingers. 6. Give up to five sharp blows between shoulders with heel of one hand. 7. Check if obstruction has been relieved after each back blow. And 8. If obstruction relieved, remove any foreign material that may have loosened with your little finger. 9. If unsuccessful, give up to five chest thrusts. 10. Place the infant on their back on a firm surface. 11. Place two fingers in the CPR position. 12. Give five chest thrusts, slower but sharper than CPR compressions. 13. Check if the obstruction has been relieved after each chest thrust. And 14. If obstruction relieved, position infant with head pointing downwards on forearm. And remove any foreign material that may have loosened with your little finger. 15. If blockage does not clear after five chest thrusts continue alternating with five back blows and five chest thrusts until medical aid arrives. What is the first aid management of choking for over one year child and adult? 1. Follow the D, R, S, A, B, C, D, and E steps. 2. Encourage the casualty to relax, breathe deeply, and encourage coughing to remove object. 3. If coughing is unsuccessful, call for an ambulance. 4. Position casualty leaning forward with head and chest low and give up to five sharp back blows between the shoulder blades with heel of one hand. 5. Check after each back blow to see if the obstruction has been cleared. 6. If back blows are unsuccessful, give up to five chest thrusts. 7. For chest thrusts, Place the heel of the hand in the same compression point as you would for CPR. Then place the other hand flat between the shoulder blades to support. 8. Give up to chest thrusts. Chest thrusts are similar to chest compressions, but sharper and delivered at a slower rate. 9. Remember to check to see if the obstruction has cleared after each thrust. If the blockage has not cleared after 5 chest thrusts, Continue to alternate between back blows, step 4, and chest thrusts, step 7. 10. Continue until airway is cleared or until medical aid arrives to take over. 11. If the blockage has not cleared after the initial management, then try asking the casualty to bend further forward when giving back blows, this will assist gravity in the expulsion of the blockage. 12. Consider removing dentures if they are loose fitting. 13. Call for an ambulance. I thank you.